So our iPhone camera basically has tons of cool little features and you can basically take really good videos from any iPhone, even from like older iPhones like the iPhone 11 Pro, can still give you really good videos. So I wanna kind of break down some of my favorite kind of like settings to kind of enable for the best quality videos that you can possibly get. Now the first thing I'd probably recommend is pretty much remembering which type of mode is best for your type of you know video that you're trying to actually take. Now, for a lot of people, you may, you know, every single person watching this has video mode, but some of you may have cinematic mode. Now, cinematic mode is like portrait mode for video, and I would recommend for some people out there, if you actually know, you know, if you have this mode, to kind of utilize it as often as possible. As long as you're making videos of like a still subject and you want to blur the background out, this is a very good, you know, option to have. With video mode, this is very good if you want to kind of keep everything in focus and kind of, you know, get a little bit of blur. But if you're trying to get like the background in the video too, you might as well stay on this. But utilizing both these modes is a very, very important thing I'd recommend kind of taking a look at. Now, the easiest way to kind of improve the quality, at least the, improve the you know, quality of the videos that you're kind of, you know, recording is to go ahead and enable either 4K or increase the resolution of the videos that you're making. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It, you know, if you have unlimited storage, then do it. HD video is still very good. Full HD video is still very good. But to change these settings, what you want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application of your iPhone. You want to scroll down until you see a little option that says camera. So tap on that camera option right here. And this first option where it says record video, this is where you can basically go ahead and kind of, you know, change these things around. So tap on record video. And now what you can do is you'll see a bunch of stuff right here. Now, right here where it says 1080p HD at 30 frames, if you want to increase the resolution, you can go up to 4K at 60, which is more than enough. You know, 4K at 30 is still fine, but this is in pretty much an easy way to increase the resolution of the videos. You do not have to do this. This takes up substantially more storage, and Apple does kind of tell you right here how much more storage is going to take. 4K at 30, I think, is overkill for a lot of people. That's why I kind of think staying at you know 4K at you know 30 or 24 is fine. 1080p at 30, I think, is more than enough, and 1080p at 60 is very good. But if you want the best, go to 4K at 60 or 4K at 30, and that's an easy way to increase the resolution. Now, at the very bottom of these particular pages, within your video options, you also have a lot of set you have a lot of settings you can go and kind of enable as well. Now, between all of them, you basically have enhanced stabilization, and some of these features may be available on your iPhone. Some of them may not be, so keep that in mind. So, enhanced stabilization is a very cool feature to basically have. You have action mode and lower light. So if you want to enable action mode, which is pretty much already enabled, you can go ahead and basically enable it in lower light conditions too, if you want to have that capability. Now, HDR video is an option that I typically don't keep enabled. Now, what this basically does is it's going to record your videos in 10-bit, you know, high dynamic range, including Dolby Vision. The reason why I don't like HDR video is because if you have your iPhone and you record it, you know, the video and you upload it places, it will automatically change the brightness a little bit and it will increase the brightness a lot. And if you're watching the video in like, you know, dark conditions, like you're in your bed and you're just scrolling through videos, people will notice you're, you have HDR video on and it is actually annoying because everyone else doesn't, you know, record their videos in HDR. So your videos are going to be abnormally brighter and it's kind of annoying to be honest. So I typically would keep this off. If you want to have that type of feature set though, where your videos are automatically much brighter, then keep this on. But typically I just keep it off because it can be kind of annoying to have it enabled. Now these other options right here, lock camera, low, you know, lock white balance, nothing really crazy here that I don't really change too much. Now you can also change the same exact options for, you know, cinematic mode as well, but I'd recommend just keeping those things on as they normally are. Now under formats, you can go ahead and choose the different photos for, you know, different options you have for your photos and videos. Now Pro Raw and Resolution Control is something that I don't think every single person needs to enable, but what this enables you to do is that it will show you basically your camera control for Pro Raw and basically maximum resolution up to 48 megapixels. Now, I don't think the average person needs to do this kind of stuff, but if you want to do under photo capture, you have this, but right under this, you have ProRes video. Now, Apple ProRes video, basically, it will give you the option of recording, <laughs> essentially, really good quality video from your iPhone, but it's at very high storage capacity. So it takes up a ton of storage from your particular phone. And Apple even kind of gives you, it says, for approximately, what, like a, a minute of this particular video, takes up 1.7 gigabytes for 30 frames per second at 1080p. That is insane. That is very high. I would say a minute of video for like standard 1080p is maybe like 50 megabytes, probably not even that. This is 1.7 gigabytes because you're getting so much more video in it. 
So if you have a terabyte iPhone and you know what you're doing, then of course keep this enabled. And you can even change your you know, encoding. So if you want to do HDR, if you want to do standard, you know, the SDR, you have that capability too. But I would probably tell you the average person not to mess with this. But those are pretty much the main, you know, settings I'd recommend. If you want to enable for the best video settings, that's basically what I'd recommend doing for the most part. Those are the best camera settings if you want the best quality videos. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.